Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. These are hella sharp tone horns. You can get them from 1AAuto.com. They're pretty much a universal fitment. You can put them in any car. You just have to adapt the wiring uh, to your vehicle's wiring. So they are, come as a pair. There's a high and a low tone. Just like a lot of cars have a high and a low tone. You can usually mount them in the same spot as the original horn. Some people like to mount them up where you can see them through the grill, but they come with little brackets. You know, to figure out the polarity of the terminals. So this should be the positive, this should be the negative. They work off 12 volts. It says it right here in the brackets. We've adapted and made some harnesses. We're gonna use these to ground the two horns together. And then we may need a little extender one for the positive on one side, just because the factory wiring is a little short. Just simply took some spade terminals, crimped them on some 18 gauge wire, automotive wiring, and I used a little uh, butt splice connector, put the two wires in here, a little heat shrink and some electrical tape to make a connection for the ground. And then just a open terminal I can put under a bolt here. So that should work for us there. So just like we said, these horns are universal. We're gonna install them on this Subaru here. I wanna test the polarity of this horn. This should be the positive, this should be the negative. I've got the battery here. I pulled the positive terminal cover up uh, I'm just going to carefully, I'll put my finger on the negative terminal. That'll be the ground. And then you want to face this away from you because they are really loud. I'm just going to touch it to the positive. So I've actually got them backwards. So let me flip them over. And it looks like there's actually a little tiny mark right there. That, that might mean positive. It doesn't look like a plus sign though. Let me flip these over. So I'll put that on the negative. I'll touch this to the positive. <laughs> Next step would be to find your horns. On this particular car, they're actually behind the grill. There's one over here and one down in here. So I gotta remove this grill. I'm gonna use a flat bladed screwdriver. There's some clips along the top and two push clips down through these openings here. So I actually push these in. They kind of go to an open position. It kind of helps if you pull it out a little bit at the same time. And you just go along the top. Actually that unlocked pretty easily from the bottom. There's little push tabs. You'd normally just go in and push it with a flat bladed screwdriver to unlock it. This one on this side is actually broken. I'm gonna start by removing this horn that's over here. Spray a little bit of rust penetrant that way and on the back side. It's 12 millimeter. Use a little socket and ratchet and extension. Loosen it. Ow. This is pretty rusty. I'm going to spray some more rust penetrant in there. I'm work it. I'm going to turn it back in. Kind of work the rust penetrant into the threads because I don't want to break the bolt off. Feels like it's coming out nice and smooth now. Let's see if I can get that bolt out of here. Oh, there's the bolt, fell at the bottom. This is just a spade terminal. Just pull it straight off. Just like that. This is act. Alright, gonna remove the other horn now. Spray a little rust penetrant. Front and on the back. This one's also a 12 millimeter. Pull this off. Put that aside. 
side. I want to mount my horns off the hood latch support. So this looks like an ambient temp sensor. I'm just going to unbolt it and I'll put my horn right over it and bolt it right back in. That looks like they use a 10 millimeter. I'll spray some rust penetrant on there. Or you could try a Phillips head, but I've got the 10 millimeter socket handy. All this horn We're using this bolt, putting it right back in the opening. Tighten that up. Just kind of get it lined up so it's level. Tighten it down. I'm going to take our positive and just kind of root it around from the other side. And it was this lower. Terminal. So just push it on. I'll do the ground after I have the other one installed. If you don't like the position of these terminals, we can actually just loosen this 13 millimeter nut and rotate it on the bracket. So I'm just going to loosen it up. Actually, it's just spinning anyways. That should put them at the bottom for me. Yep, just like that. So I'm just going to install the horn using the original bolt. Get right into place. Just threading it into the original hole. Getting it lined up. Getting it lined up visually with the other one. And I'll tighten it down. So our positive terminal from the, the original car harness is still uh, is too short. So I'm going to use this little jumper harness I made. So this has a spade terminal connector. It's going to go into here. And then this one it's going to go on the horn, just like that. All right, so now we need to install this ground harness that we made. So I'm going to put it on this side. Just feed it under the original. Side. This one will fit over here. Into this one. Now I can just run, I can flip this harness over, I can tuck it right here. I will run it, I will loosen this bolt up and run it underneath. back in. Gonna put these locking parts. They go into lower pieces right here. And then these will fit over the clips that are in the radiator support. Start with the bottom ones. And at the same time you might have to line these up. You just simply push in like that, and now they're locked in place. All 
All right, now we're going to test the sound from 10 feet away. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.